May the gods be praised. This is special. Yes, specially made for you by Oma. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. May the gods be praised. See. <laughs> this is nice. May the gods be praised. That's all you did that but you know. That's oh. May we give him praise. Divine healer of Alanzu. You left the palace unannounced. You got everyone worried. Even your mother. Why would the king and my mother be worried? Prince Sonoche is now a man. I am now a full grown man. I was here to something. This visit is to commiserate with this family and their loss. And ever since then, I've experienced nothing but an undiluted love. My elders, it is not in any way our intention to keep the young prince away from the palace. Biko. No, Omne. You've done nothing wrong. Absolutely. I am certain my father will be very happy to behold me in a magnificent look. All to your precious self. <laughs> Magnificent in any one. Thank you, my woman. She is my woman and she is my everything. <laughs> mm. I have to go now. Mm. Everything. Bye, my friends. Bye. Bye, Fandias. I have one only way. I have a man. I have a man. I have a I would want to face the king alone. The night is old and I'm sure your bones need rest. May we agree guide your paths. Yes, sir. Abba my Abba friend. Neoma. Gods have you been? Greetings, Father. Ah, uh, Your Highness, my son was with a woman. Who is the maiden? <laughs> and who are her parents? They had 
never lies. My brother is in love. <laughs> so who is this girl? Bring her to me and I'll give you my blessings. Yes. Good night, father. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uli. Your Highness. Is this son of ours okay? I don't know, Your Highness. He's fine. He's fine. Well, I want to behold this maiden who has stolen the heart of my son tomorrow. Your Highness, <laughs> her family mourns. Mm, her family mourns? Who did she lose? Her father? Mother? Brother or sister? Her only brother. Our family share their moments of grief. Your mother and two guards will go with you to commiserate with them on behalf of the palace. Okay. I want to see this girl tomorrow. Thank you, Your Highness, for the privilege. Thank you. Good night, Your Highness. <laughs> My son is in law. Oh, what's going to be? Thoughts are heavy. Thinking about the young prince has made the night sleepless. I am sure he's also thinking about you, but he's yet to confess his love for you. I saw it in his heart. <laughs> Onochi is in love with you. My thoughts are different, mother. I am thinking of Ogazamaka. He has been here just once since he returned from his journey. Could it be that he found love in the sight of another woman? Mother, please, I beg you in the name of the gods, grant my wish to visit the palace. I want to see the face of the man that promised me marriage with a bead before his journey to EOG. Not while I'm still alive. What is your problem? Okay, Nemegi. Eh? What proof do I have to convince you that we are nothing before him? We are like the ants. To him. And we are still strangers in the palace. He's yet to present you to the king. Maybe he's ashamed of you. I have not received even one tuber of yam from the mother as a gift. Even the one eaten by the beetle, I have not received from her. Oma. Oh, ma. Even during our period of grief, he showed up only once. I forbid you mention that name again in this house. Have you no shame? If you name me, again. Please, mother. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Mother, all I ask is for you, you to, to grant my my wish to visit the palace, mother. Hi. 
I don't blame you. I don't. And I will never blame you. Mona! Mona! Mona, please grant my wish to be city palace, Mona! Mona! What is your ah! problem? Mona! Mona. I know it is difficult to forget the memory of Yuchi. The friends you lost in the journey to find a cure for the king. We all grieve. I your mother grieve. But you cannot continue like this. You can't mourn forever. Mother, I do not have your life. Ogazia Maka is a living corpse. Sophia Kwa! I am a living corpse. No! Mother. No, my son. You are not a corpse. If no one in this kingdom is proud of you, I, your mother, Uli, I am proud of you. The gods are proud of you. And that is why they brought you back to me. Do not mention the gods, mother. Do not mention the gods. They have gone soft in their strength. <laughs> no, my son. No. No one challenge the will of fate. No, my son. You won't continue like this because you are the heir to the throne. You are the heir to the throne. <laughs> Mother, Ogazia Maka knows who he is. <laughs> I know who I am, Mother. Then, <laughs> convince your mother. Convince me. Fulfill the promise you gave me. Before the journey to Ye Yoji. Go and get Ujunwa's daughter. Bring her before the king, your father. Seek for his blessings. Have you forgotten? You told me you love her so much. Have you? Go, my son. Go. Go, my son. Mother, that is the time I'm waiting for. Okay. Uta needs my presence here. Go, go, my son, just go. Uta, I am here. Nchedo, take this. I want it returned by the very maiden who stole my son's hat. Thank you, Your Highness. May the gods go with you. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> I greet you. Ifuna. Hey, Matri. 
Would you want some mother's name? Oma. Yes. Oma is uh, the only daughter Would you want has. And Oma has something with Ogazi Amaka in the hidden. She's the wrong choice. Mother, you are not the gods to decide which choice is wrong. My stepbrother has not presented any woman to the king. Speak against her before the king and I promise you nothing but my cops. I give you my word. You will have Oma. These gifts are from the king and he said we should give it to you and we are also here to say sorry for the death of your son, Igor, I sent our homage gift to this. Ah, may the gods bless the king for us. Thank you. Ah, thank you, my friend. Thank you, young prince. Thank you, princess. Oh, that is not all. Our son came back yesterday with a different hairstyle. Oh. And when asked, he said, is your daughter here? Yeah. So the king requests her presence in the palace and she will have this in return. Is it okay? Thank you. Hey! Yeah. I really want nothing more from the king. Yeah. We have received enough from the palace. The young prince was kind to my mother and I. Braiding his hair was an ordinary yeah. act of kindness. Mm -hmm. Um, my queen, you go on your own. Come to buy the oh. Come to buy the thing, you know. Come to warm the room. No, 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 no. It's no longer your job. Hey, Madins, assist her in that. Take it easy. Be lenient. Oh no, Chi. I hate lazy people. Princess. Princess. I'm going to manage you. I need to leave now. If I don't, there will be danger. Okay. Give me one of our lands. 
Ako ako koni poaj. Oh moi. Hey, odu. Father. Father. Hey. Hey. Unyi no chuzo. Ifule aria yi kuasa. Yeah. That is father. Father is inside. Father. Hey. Hey, Fred. What is it this morning? Eh? Huh? What is it? Father, father, by, by now you should have known that your, your son Efuna is already used to the name Colin. What is it, father? What is it? They are not like the uh, uh, other title. Uh, it's a Chinchi, uh, uh, Agavu. Which other name will you call me? Which other name will you call me, father? Onyara, go and get me a seat. The news in my mouth is not, it's not what I will say standing. Father, take a look at this. Listen, hmm? where did these expensive materials come from? <laughs> uh, Father, may the gods bless you for at least confirming that they're expensive materials. Uh, I got this from the people who, who regard me. Father, when I see people, I'm not talking about ordinary people. The bits are special ones. Where did you get all these from? It's my God. Efuna. Is it well here? Shut up your mouth, dear. Mushon, dear. Father should be the one asking me that question. Not, not stupid you. You that went to the palace instead of uh, 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 winning the queen's heart and converting all, all, all the riches and, and treasures to this house. You went there and discovered the talking good. Who would have known that? Father, I got this from people who, who regard me. And Efuna. I'm not talking about ordinary people. That is not the answer to my question. Who gave you all this? Father, they are, they, are, they are gifts from the Queen of Alanzu, the Prince of Alanzu, and the Princess of Alanzu. You were at the palace? Which palace? I'm not here, which palace? If I had gotten to the palace, wouldn't I have gotten a basket full of all this? You are at the palace. Look, Mark, I'm going to resume your place in the palace as one of the maids. Father, if I can get this gift by saying ordinary or to Toma to Prince Onoji, Father, I am sure of getting the. Princess had a marriage if I say Abanyoma to, to King Gugama. Uh, Ogazi. Father. You mean Onochie did not tell you that he will be bringing a woman home to the palace? No, Father. No. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, uh, maybe it escaped his mind. Uh, but you know, you, you cannot leave. You have to wait because an important guest is going to be coming to the palace. Um, your presence is required to welcome this important guest. Huh? I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> Father, I, I do not think Ogazemaka's presence is needed in welcoming this very guest because I wasn't told. And besides, it is on Oche's day, Father. I will not like to ruin his day. Ruin his day? Yes, Father. How can you say a thing like that? On Oche is your brother. He's not an enemy. You cannot ruin his day. I know, Father. But please respect my decision, Father. Whoever this guest is, the person is welcome to the palace. Before now, I told Uta I will lead him to his father's heart. Please, Father, grant me the honor to leave now. Thank you, Father. I have been thinking, how will you explain it to the community that Onoche, the young prince, is at the verge of getting married ahead of the senior prince of Gaziamaka? I know it is not a forbidden act in our land. Hmm. But people will definitely ask, why? Akaniru, Your Highness. Onochie is just bringing the young maiden before the throne. That is not getting married. Aha! Akama Sekwano. Because again. Your Highness. What is it? From the look of things, 
It seems Ogazamaka is not ready to get married soon. It seems he has forgotten. He is the heir to the throne of Alansu. Manasin can draw, Your Highness. Will Ogazamaka ascend the throne of Alansu without a woman to be called Law Law? Akaniru. Igwe. Asim can join them. Are you willing to kill me so soon? Mbano. Did they tell you I'm dying so soon? Mbano. So why are you talking about ascension? Oh, Your Highness, be merciful. I did not mean it that way. I am very, very sorry. You had better be. Peace to your palace, your majesty. Who are you? I come in peace, your highness. I hail from the west. Princess Ngoloma from Nkata Kingdom. The princess from Kata Kingdom? Where then are your legion of guards? I may not come from the west, but I know that a king from such a blessed region would not allow the princess travel alone to the east. What is your mission, stranger? Exploit. Sweet adventures. Mm. To feel the beautiful breeze of your kingdom. Why should I be worried to travel with legions of guards when I know the East is filled with kindness? A land free from hate and evil magic. I am a noble guest, your majesty. Um, young maiden, what do you call your name again? In my father's kingdom, a noble stranger is not welcomed with so many questions. Rather, she will be ushered in with a cup of water to calm her throat after a long journey. But I can see I'm not welcomed here. I can quietly go in peace, Your Majesty. No. You can come in. Welcome to the land of Alanzu. Welcome to the palace of Alanzu. I am pleased. Your wisdom is equal to my father's. He's also a noble man. Come Thank you for the water, Your Highness. You're welcome. I am Princess Ngoloma, the daughter of Hugo Hamadiki from Nkata Kingdom. I have never traveled to the West before, but from what I heard, it is a beautiful region. But then, it is also strange that you travel all alone from West to East without a guard. The gods of Nkata Kingdom watch over their own. I have nothing to fear. Your Honor, why is your palace so dry? <laughs> Where is the prince, the princess and the queen? Ah, uh, they will soon be here. Um, your keg is dry. I also brought palm wine from my land. Uh. And I'm sure your majesty will be pleased with its weakness. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your power has no end. You rule the world with 
should be mine, I understand. Well, uh, my princess, entertain yourself while you speak more about Katapiri. <coughs> Akaniru and I already had some palm wine. As your majesty pleases. When I go back to Nkata Kingdom, I shall tell my father about your generosity. And I will not forget to mention your strong principle. My princess, you're back? Yes, father. What happened? Uh, you came back alone. What happened? Where are the others? They, they are on their way. I am Ngoloma, the daughter of Igbo Hamadi from Nkata Kingdom. Your Majesty, she's beautiful. Yes, the gods are gracious. Uh, uh, you, you're, you're welcome to Alonso. Um, oh, she is Princess Yanga, the only daughter of King Ogama. Hade Abo, one. Your father seems to have doubts about my presence. He seems my presence irritates his sight. Hmm. You will not be sitting here in my obese if deep down in my heart I have hate for you. I may not have been to the West like I said before, but from what I have heard, it is like a region just like ours. A place free of magic where normal people leave. Uh, true to time, you know, I may have my doubts, but it's that of carefulness, not of hate. Like you and I will agree. When a man is surrounded by his enemies, he sleeps with one eye closed. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. Uh, um, uh, Father, I, I also haven't been to the West. But I, I've heard so much about Nkata Kingdom and Nkata Princess. And I know that her name is Princess Ngoloma. And her father's name is Igwe Ohamadike. It, she's a noble woman. Welcome to the Palace of Alanzu. Thank you, Your Highness. Make yourself comfortable. My princess. I am sure sharing the heart with my daughter, Inyanga, would convince you of how proud I am to have the princess from the west of my kingdom. Inyanga, take very good care of her. Make sure she lacks nothing. I will, Father. <laughs> Thank you for this generosity, Your Highness. Words can't be enough. You're welcome, Princess Ngoloma. Thank you, my queen. You are welcome to Alansu, Princess of Nkata Kingdom. Welcome. Thank you. Um, my king, Princess Inyanga and I will join you shortly in your throne room. Very well then. Eh? I'll wait for you. You're waiting.
dare you? How dare you bring me down before my mother's? How? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my lord. I, 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 was, I was helping my brother Onochi to fulfill his, his heart desire. He, he found love in the eyes of a maiden. And who made you the helper? Ugoloma is the only helper around here. Please, be merciful. Please, please. Nyanga, you failed in your promise. I will not condescend to share position with you in this place. There is only one princess here, and that princess is Princess Ngoloma. Don't make me hurt anyone. Don't! Your wish is my command. Please. Call Princess Nyanga. Nyanga, the king wants you. You look very pale, my daughter. What troubles the heart of my beautiful princess? Me? I, no, I, I'm okay. Uh, Nyanga is fine. There's no problem at all. Then sit and tell me about this maiden who has stolen your brother's heart. I want to know who her father is. The daughter of King Ogama can never live the life of a gossip. It would be better for the king to behold this maiden with his own eyes. <laughs> the culture here is quite different from the West. Then tell us what you saw wrong. In the West, Obieze is a special place. It's like the heart of the king. A place where justice is made. A place of wisdom and not a place where you crack jokes. But it seems like the king, Ogama, is a maker of good jokes. Enough, Princess Ngoloma. That is an insult to the king. Nay, there's no insult in her statement. Please, don't start. Don't start, Biko. Forgive me, your highness. I am only talking about the West. I'm sorry, my queen, but it is an abomination in the West for the queen to sit beside the king when the sun is still up. I am not trying to insult you. It is our custom and tradition. Very well then. Tell us more about the traditions of the West. Be patient, your majesty. With time, you will find out why the West is more blessed than the East. I only came to take my keg of palm wine. Your power is stronger than thunder. Your anger is hotter than fire. There is nothing mm. you can do. Ungoloma. I can see you're having a good time sharing your palm wine already. Your Highness, it is my wish to take a walk around your kingdom with your daughter to grace my eyes with the beauties in your land. So I can have enough to tell my father, Igwe Hamadiki, when I get back about your land. <laughs> I am delighted to hear that you're going to tell your father about my kingdom. But 
please let it wait until after the palace has received the guests we are expecting. Then after that, the guard can always go around with you. Your Highness, do you have traitors here? Why then do you want us to move around with the guards in a broad daylight? In my land, the gods protect their own. Don't you have gods here? Blasphemy! We have Ogiri. Ogiri is alive. And I am alive today because of the glory of Ogiri. I was ill unto death. But they saved me and brought me back to life through my daughter and my uh, son. Father, please. Father, please stop. Please. Father. Princess Ngulam and I will be okay in the village. It has been my desire to meet a princess from the west. Turning a deaf ear to, to her request will be bringing me down in front of a fellow princess and one from a strange land at, at that. Father, please, we will be back before the welcome celebration of the palace guest. Please, Father. For my daddy. Oh? Okay. In that case, may the gods go with you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. You've done so well, Your Highness. I have seen a shining future for Lanzo. Akaniru. Your Highness. What future do you see? Oh, a solidarity union between our land and the people of the West. We have never gone to war with another land. Why then would another land send a spy to us? Honestly, I can hear. I don't know what to think. I will consult the gods. Come with me. Mighty Ngolom.
Yes, my son. You keep mentioning the gods. Is it the gods that planted this tree or our father? My children. Yes, mother. Everything special comes from the gods. It was a mystery when Ezidim, my husband, and I woke up one day to see this tree growing. Then we had nothing in this land of Alanzo. Ezidim, my husband, was referred to as Ezim Dimwobonye. But when this tree emerged from the earth, everything reversed for good. Ezidim, my husband, then became Ezidim the Ogaran. All the market women in this village come to this tree with their baskets to buy these sweet fruits. My children, yes, I want you people to place your hand on this tree and promise me one thing. What is it? What is it? Yeah. I want you people to promise me that nothing will happen to this tree even when I am gone. By, By the, the gods, gods we, we promise that nothing, nothing will happen to this tree. Hmm. I'm about to leave for the palace. But I still insist you should go to Amago. Ikunani. Because I feel you'll be lonely left alone. No, brother. No. I'll be fine here in Alonzo. I will stay here and wait your return from Iyoji River. Please promise me you come home alive. Mwago, an auto number. No, brother. Mwago, an auto number. No. I will return home alive. I will return home alive. And when I return with some elders, we will go to Umwama to ask for the hand of Asa in marriage. The girl Nne approved for my marriage. I am sure Nne will be happy in her grave. <laughs> she will be happy. But still, brother, I want you to place your hand on this, on this special tree. And promise me you'll come home alive. Will that make you happy? Yes. I promise I will return home alive. But you could not keep the promise. He made to me. He promised to return home alive. But his dreams were stolen by harsh reality. But you could die the hero. He died the hero. He promised he's going to return. And together we shall visit you, Mama. <laughs> you married the daughter of Egypt when you called Asa. You never keep this promise alive. <laughs>
Have you found a maiden to call a wife? Uta, the right maiden will come when the time is right. Then, make Asa your wife. Make Asa your wife. Neset, she will, she will make a good wife for Ojuku. Let's go to Mom and find her. Ota, I will find a good wife when the time is right. I will marry when it is right. I'm sorry I spoke to you in this manner. I'm really sorry. Come, let's go to your farmland. Nero, take some yams and the goat to Atanjeli and summon her to the palace in India. Igwe. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, Go ahead. Father, Ujumwa's daughter is the maiden my heart yearns for. Oma, I plead with you to be that woman I will call my wife. Father, I love her with my whole life. Onoche, no, you lie. There are other maidens in Alanzu kingdom you can go and confess your love to. And there are many fishes in Alanzu river. All you need to do is just go and cast your net. Ogaziamaka, my son, already mentioned the name of the maiden that pleased his eyes. Hold your peace, Uli. How dare you go against the tradition of this land? How could you meddle into marital affairs when the king is still alive? And besides, the Juma has not told us that anyone had uh, an eye on her daughter. I am sorry, Your Highness. That's enough now. Ujungwa. Yes, Your Highness. What do you have to say about this? What does your daughter have to do with Your Highness. Nothing, Your Highness. Nothing? Yes, Your Highness. Um, my daughter is just like every other maiden in this land. She only has respect for him as the senior prince, your highness. And nothing more. Ujumwa! Oma. My king. You heard all the statements that have been made regarding this. Yes, my king. Hey. So, which of them is the correct one? I know, Gazamaka, your highness. I also know the young prince. But the young prince was the first man that mentioned marriage to me, my king. Good. When he mentioned marriage to you, what was your response to that proposal? <laughs> my spirit is dictated by the interest of the young prince. My king, I want to speak my mind before Prince Ogaza Maka. <laughs> you heard it. Your Highness. So, so be it. No. No, Your Highness. No. Yes. Mama. Go, go, go. Hi. Highness. Go to Ezidi Mogaranya. Summon Prince Ogaziamaka here. Tell him I want to see him here and now. Okay, Your Highness. Your Highness. Speak. I met nobody there. Gozamaka was there in the house. Okay. Your Highness. Father. 
Are you saying you need Ogazama Kass approval before you bless my union with Omar? Onachi, before your very eyes, the maiden you brought here confessed to knowing Ogazamaka also. Oh, oh. I don't want to Junwa's daughter to bring disunity in my palace. Mm -hmm. Junwa, you will go home with your daughter. Mm -hmm. But you must return to this palace by sunset tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. You will live my life. Mighty Dolomi. Are you saying that you will not help my brother? I am not your slave. You have no power over me to choose who I help. Uh, but please, I am begging you, help my brother to achieve his heart desire. And I promise you that my mother and I will bring him to your worship. His soul and the soul of everyone in our land is already mine. Oh. Were you drunk when you solicited for my help and brought me down from Wakida Mountain? Please, pardon your daughter. That is Efuna. If it is son, a dead cat has more value than him. In fact, in this village, we know him as Efuna. So just forget him. Only Ungoloma tells a worthy soul. Ungoloma. 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 <laughs> Nam. Your, your son is now a hero. Efuna. <laughs> that is the road to Ami. The place you say you are going. Ajum. I'm walking this part to the palace. I, I'm not going there anymore. The, where, are you, where are you going with this with a seat? I'm following you. I'm going to the palace. Uh, I have a very important discussion with the king of Alanzi. Efuna. Okay. Why will you stop discussing your sister and I in this community? Shh. Stop talking about my sister in the open. She should be discussed only in the hut. Is she not the one that went to the palace and disgraced her family? Have I told you I heard a goat calling my name before? I want to See, that is why I'm following you to the palace to, to plead with Igwe. He wear a door called that job. Up on that, that no man. Don't you know that lying against the, the, the royal goat is a grievous offense? And the man's a royal fine. Hey, Funa. Hmm? Okay. Okay. My princess. When has the village path become a, a, a hut where you settle your family dispute? Huh? Uh, hey, 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 shh. Close your mouth. Efuna. Hey, I don't want to hear anything from you. Just close your mouth. I'm sorry, my princess. You're forgiven. Be on your feet. Is he your son? Yes. The princess I know. Who are you? Uh, yes, he's my father. He's I also have a, a sister, Mark. She's like this. Not very far from being a dwarf. Efuna, close your mouth. I said I don't want to hear anything from you. Who asked you about your sister? Mazi Fed. The maiden standing before you is a guest in this kingdom. And she's a noble princess from the West. Oh, you are welcome to Alanzu, oh noble princess. Thank you. Your son, Efuna has found favor in her sight. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. You're welcome. Be on your feet and walk with us. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Exactly, are we going to look for him? I was in the palace in the part of the moon, not even the princess returned. Father, let's return to the palace. From what you said, they were carrying a keg of palm wine. You and I know if we palm wine, Father. Mbak, fetch me now, what is it? Hey, Funa! Sorry, I told you that. Ma, I hope you and Father had the uh, night meal. <laughs> Is it really you? A ghost in your phone? Father, it's me. It's your son, hey, Funa. Father, it's me. Father, the, the night is deep. Okay, I want you to go and sleep. Ma, please get in my food. Oh, 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 Ma, don't worry. I get him by myself. Ifuna, it is me. Hey! Ma, it's me, Ifuna. It's your brother. Mother, you've had nothing all day. Please eat your food. Because name, name because she asked for me to have my name. Because only you know I asked for me of my name. Because I be married. I won't eat. Would you want the daughter of a kid is not hungry? I go at that go. You taught me lying is a sin. Lying to the king is as same as lying to the gods. I met Ogazamaka first. He first spoke love to me. But that does not mean I cannot accept the will of faith. Now that I'm no more graceful to his eyes. It's vividly clear you cannot. I can, mother. No, you can't. You can't. You are a disgrace to my late son. Tfiage! <laughs> my father, ah. I, I feel slight pains in my stomach. Slight pain? Yes. What could be the cause? I don't know, father, but I think I'll be fine. Um, the nurse 
turn by your right leads to Ibrugu's hut. I shall join both of you after easing myself somewhere around here. Next turn? Yes, Father. Okay. Mother. Please be careful. I will. Be careful now. Father. Be careful of snake. I will, what? Father. I will. Mark, let's go. I'll join you, Father. Anything your family hut lacks, I shall be staying in your father's hut as this maiden. I am Obiama, a maiden after your heart. My identity must not be revealed to anyone except you. I shall remain in your father's hut till my mission is accomplished. Your wish is my command. I am Obiama, a maiden from the land of Achai. Father, judging from your looks, do you know anyone from the West who can find out if the maiden that lives under our roof is truly a princess from the West, from a land called Kata? No, Father. But do you know her name? Um, princess Ngoloma. Uh, yes, Princess Ngoloma. Water, please. Water, please. Leave my path. Use greedy spirit in human flesh. I have a 19 year old boy dying of thirst, and saving his life is more important to me. I am not a spirit. I am Atuayana, the head warrior of Unkata. The first son of Mwike. <coughs> no, your name has not vindicated you from the fact that you're a greedy one. You have a calabash of water in your hands and yet you seek the little I have walked this distance to get for a dying boy. Leave my path! I'd rather die in this forest than drink from this calabash. No water spills for any reason. The, the princess of my land must be well again. Is that the water of life? Is that the water from the spring of Iyoji? Yes. And who are you? I am Ogazamaka, the heir to the throne of Alanzu. We are on the same mission, Atuanya. The king, my father, is very sick. And the gods have decided it is only the water from the spring of Iyoji that will bring him back to life. Huh? We were in a group that left the village. But it is only three of us remaining. Let me have it. Only one would remain. I left the village with seven of my kind. But just myself made it alive, but not completely <laughs> as I was when I left the village. <laughs> what, what do you really mean? Follow your heart, my friend. Follow your heart. <laughs> what? What did you say, Miss? Your name again? 
I am Atoanya, the fourth son of Mwike. This water. Come. Water. Go now to save the princess of my land. I have to go now. <coughs> Shown the name of the sick princess? No, father. Well, I think uh, that should be enough. Uh, we already have what can help us. Oh, Giri! Good night, father. Um. Pardon my prince, he's not in a very good mood. <laughs> Welcome to my Ubieze, daughter of the gods. The gods are still far away from us. Until they are pleased with the right sacrifice, they will forever remain silent. They rejected the gift to send to Ichia Kaneru while I was away. And they have no prophecy about the land. I fear for Alanzu. I fear for the land, Your Highness. Daughter of the gods, plead with the gods on our behalf. Ask them to be lenient. Plead with them to forgive and pardon the wrongs of the past. The elders and myself will visit your heart soon so that we can appease the gods with the adequate sacrifice. Please. Ogiri! 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 Olochi. Olochi. Olochi! What is it? You're putting lots inside inside. Oh no, Chie! Oh no, Chie! Oh no, Chie, open this door! What is it? Mother. Sister, I... I love Ujumwa's daughter. I love her so much. I love her from the depth of my heart. Honochi, I give you my word. Nothing can stand in your way. Only if you believe. Not even father. Not even Ogazi Amaka. Not even her mother. Sister, can't you see? Can't you see? Eh? Father is already standing on my path. He's been an obstacle already. <laughs> See, when you open your heart, mm -hmm. even the most difficult dream will become reality in a blink of an eye. Your words are heavy, sister. All you have to do is believe. Believe in your sister and I. 
Okay? Just trust us in this one. Swear by my palm that you will not betray the secret that your eyes are about to behold. Who is this maiden mother? You have a little time, young prince. Don't waste it asking questions that are bigger than your father. Oh, that's an insult on the king. It's an insult! Mother, my younger, I demand to know who this maiden is. Blessed is he who believes without sin. My brother, you must believe. True. This is who I am. Ngoloma. 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 Where is your Gazi Amaka? Oh. I greet you, my prince. Where is he? Um. <laughs> oh. It's a beautiful day. Ogazi. Tutuama. Ogazi. Tutuama, my prince. I am here with a keg of fresh pan wine from the finest pan wine tap of our land. Okbana. Uh, Odibo. Obana, we need sit. Let the sit be. Why? Because you think the wine is not fresh, as I said, that I'm lying. against the tradition to refuse an early morning pan wine. I would love to sit and finish this keg of pan wine with you, but I do not have appetite for pan wine this morning. <laughs> oh, guys, eh. How much you understand? Thank you. Wait. How much? If you're not straight when you're green, you will never be straight when you are dry. Pogazi, I am lost in your proverb. Why? Are you not man enough to say your heart desires? If they are noble. Do not judge me wrongly. But I tell you, that as I speak, every desire in my heart is noble. Oh no, Chief. There are so many maidens in Alonso. Why would you want a daughter? Why? Oh, Gazi. Is that why you refuse finishing this keg of fresh palm wine with me? 
Oh no, she look me in the eyes and tell me something. I'm sorry, brother. I cannot look you in the eyes. But I tell you that as we speak, whatever it is I feel for Junwa's daughter is real. Very real. Uta, where's my mother? I have no idea. Mother! 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 Okay. See her off to the king. What have you done? Apologize to the princess at once. I have done nothing wrong. The rule of the palace must be obeyed. Follow me. Ugaloma. 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 Uga